Hi guys, I'm coming to you with a 10 minute at home Pilates routine, which is gonna focus on core strengthening and a little bit of spinal mobility as we spend lots of time now, maybe working from home, sitting behind um, your tables and your desks hunched over, maybe a little bit anxious, a little bit scared. Hopefully this little routine will get you moving and get your spine moving especially so you can really feel a lot better. We're gonna start right now lying down on our backs. I'm gonna do an exercise that is my personal favorite called bridging. Your hands are down by your sides, your hips, knees, and ankles are in line. You're gonna take an inhale and we're gonna start with the wave. So we're gonna tip our tailbone forward, arch the lower back up so that there's a little space at the lower back. And on the exhale, we're gonna tip the tailbone up and we're gonna roll up through the spine. Bringing the weight onto the back of the neck, reaching your heels to your shoulders. We inhale at the top and on the exhale, we melt back down. Slowly with control. Bring the weight back onto the tailbone, arching the back up as we inhale. And on the exhale, rolling back up. We're gonna do this about six more times. So a total of eight repetitions, keeping the neck long, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, the tailbone tips forward. Exhale, we roll up. You should feel the backs of your legs working. There should be no weight on the back of your neck. It should be resting firmly on your shoulders. Let's do that a couple of more times. Exhale. Inhale at the top and exhale. Think about tweezing your bottom as you roll up and down. This is a great exercise to strengthen the back of the legs while really mobilizing your spine. And then we roll back down. Now from here, we're gonna go into a really nice and simple single straight leg stretch. It's a traditional mat exercise. It again stretches you out through the backs of your legs while opening you up through the front of the opposite leg. We start by reaching the right leg straight up to the ceiling, point your toes, reach the left leg out, grab back behind the leg as high as you can. If you need to bend your knees slightly, that's fine. We're gonna curl the head, neck and shoulders up. You've got a hot cup of coffee sitting underneath your belly button and you've got a grape sitting at the small of your back. Don't squash your grape, don't spill your coffee. We're gonna pulse the leg in two times. Inhale, inhale, taking the elbows wide. On the exhale, we switch the legs. Inhale, inhale, exhale, we switch. Inhale, inhale, exhale, switch. Think about pressing the backs of your ribs into your mat and reach the front of your ribs to your hips. Legs stay as straight as you possibly can. You're gonna feel your abs working out through this exercise. Keep your ears over your shoulders. Draw your knees in towards you and roll back down. For the next exercise, we're gonna orient you in a different manner and we're gonna come onto all fours. This is a great exercise to work not only on strengthening your abdominals and working on what we call pelvic stability, which really engages the core, but it's also gonna add in a little bit of spinal mobility. Your knees are right underneath your hips, your hands are gonna come right underneath the shoulders. We're gonna do an opposite arm leg reach. So we're gonna start by reaching the right arm and the left leg. Your hip bones point down to the floor, and now the coffee is sitting on the small of your back, so don't spill your coffee. We take a deep inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, we're gonna reach Arm and leg out in the opposite direction. Hold here, press down through the opposite side, and we lower back down to the starting position. As you reach, focus on reaching rather than lifting. Inhale at the top, exhale, we lower back down. Let's do that a couple more times to each side, thinking about creating length, and really getting the opposite arm and the opposite knee that is on the mat to press down to keep that stability. And one more time to each side, reach, keep those ears over the shoulders, don't let your head pigeon forwards. One more time, reach, and slowly lower back down. Now in this position, we're gonna add a little bit of mobility to that movement. So you're gonna reach, arm and leg out, hip bones point down. Now we're gonna bring the elbow to the knee as we exhale, rounding the back up, Inhale, we reach. Exhale, round up. Inhale, we reach. Let's do that two more times. 
You should really feel the muscles in the left arm and the right inner thigh working to help stabilize you. We switch to the other side. Reach, exhale, inhale, reach. Exhale, inhale, we reach. Last two, and we reach. One last one, pressing down firmly through the right hand and the left knee, and back down. The next one now, we're gonna lie down on our stomachs, and we're gonna go into a low swan. Your fingers are gonna be above the level of your shoulders, your forearms are flat down. Think about reaching out long through the backs of the legs. This is an excellent exercise to work the muscles in the mid-back. Think about staying light on your hands. Hip bones press down into the mat. And on the inhale, while drawing the belly button in, we're going to lift the heart up. Real nice and soft. And on the exhale, we slowly lower back down. As we work through this exercise, you should feel the backs of the legs staying active. You should feel the muscles in the mid-back working, not the lower back. Think that someone has got ropes attached to your ankles and they're pulling you out to the end of the room away from your head. Let's do that one more time. We lift the inhale, staying light on the hands, squeezing at the butt. Exhale, we lower back down. The next exercise now, we're going to orient you over onto your side. We're going to do a little bit of sideline leg work. You can start with your elbow underneath your shoulder if you want a little bit of a challenge to the muscles along the waistline or you can come down onto your elbow here and rest your hand into your head. This is a little bit more challenging. This is just a little bit easier. You want to make sure this time that the hot cup of coffee is sitting on the top of your hips. Your gaze is straight out in front. You're light on the top hand. I'm going to come up onto my elbow. Your toes are slightly in front of you. There's length through both sides of your waist. We point the top leg and we lift and we lower. Exhale, inhale. Looking straight in front. Keep pressing down into your mat and making sure that the upper body stays really steady and silent. This is a great exercise to strengthen the side of the legs as well as the glutes. So we don't want the hips to be rocking back and forth. We want to think more about reaching that leg out rather than lifting it up too high so that the upper body stays steady. From here, we go into circles going forwards. We do eight repetitions of each, circles going back. And we're gonna go into kicks. We kick forward two times, still trying to keep the leg one on top of the other, making sure that your shoulders stay relaxed, your upper body is still relaxed. Inhale, inhale, exhale, we reach back. Inhale, inhale, Exhale, we reach back. And then we repeat everything on the other side. I hope you enjoyed these few exercises that are easy at home that you can follow along with this video. See you all soon. Take care and stay well.